What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got the Fire Lion. We are showcasing Pyroar in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Pyroar, I don't think I really used it in Scarlet and Violet. Maybe once, maybe twice, definitely not three times. But I haven't used it in probably over a year. So this one's going to be fun. We're pairing it up with Coridon, putting this Lion in the sun, looking to get off some big time damage. But let's talk about Pyroar. It's got Unnerve with the Life Orb as its item, making it do an insane amount of damage. It's a Fire and Normal type, which means we have two big time stab moves, Hyper Beam and Flamethrower. On top of that, we got the Grass Terror type with Solar Beam, which will hit in one turn whenever we're in the sun. So Pyro is here to do some big time damage. Hopefully I can do that for you guys and grab you guys some wins. A restricted Pokemon, like we already mentioned, is going to be Coridon. Coridon is just top tier at setting the sun, and it hits like an absolute truck within the sun. It's got Lord Calcum Pulse as its ability, with the Clear Amulet as the item, Fire Terror type with Protect, Flare Blitz, Breaking Swipe, and Collision Course. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are just solid meta Pokemon. We got Wimscott, Rillaboom, Urshfu, and Walking Wake. Wimscott's going to be there for support. It's got Sunny Day, Fake Tears, Tailwind, Moonblast. Rillaboom's going to be there for Fake Outs and Terrain Control. Urshfu, Walking Wake, there for big time damage. One Special Attacker, one Physical Attacker. Can't really go wrong with that. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Pyroar. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against an Overquill and Kyogre team. And to be honest, I forget what ability Overquill has. It's either Intimidate or Swift Swim. It might be Swift Swim because I'm almost positive regular Quillfish has Intimidate and Overquill doesn't. So I think this thing does have Swift Swim. We're going to have to watch out for that. Furthermore, they got some nice weather control with Tornadus and Kyogre. It's going to be a weather war. Who should I lead here? And how should I play this one? I could go Wimscott. I mean, Tamwin could be good. Sunny day, I can also pop if need be. I might just lead Wimscott here. Wimscott and maybe Walking Wake, because Walking Wake honestly thrives out in both the rain and in sun. So, I mean, either way, Walking Wake's going to be nice. I think we go Wimscott, Walking Wake, and then we just bring Pyroar and Coridon in the back end. That's something I actually really like. I could honestly go Rillaboom. Rillaboom's actually nice here. Maybe we don't want Wimscott. Honestly, maybe we don't want one Scott. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with going Rillaboom, Walking Wake, and then Pyroar and Crydon in the back end. I like it. I like it. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here. I feel like I had to bring Rillaboom, right? As much as I wanted one Scott, I was sitting there, I was just like, dude, we're going up against a Kai Ogre team. Rillaboom is so viable. It's just such a strong Pokemon. We got to bring it, so. Good call on Aran. Good call on Aaron. You can't go wrong with Rule Boom, especially up against Kyogre teams. But let's see how we do in match number one. I would love to get out Pyroar in the back end with Coridon. Have that thing just rip it into some with Flamethrower, Hyper Beams, all that good stuff. Or even Solar Beam. Solar Beam works well. We love it. But we got to win the uh, Weather War. They go Tornadus. They go Kyogre. No big deal here. Um, we go Rule Boom and Walking Wake. I don't mind this. I mean, you set the rain. I kind of thrive out in the rain. I could set the sun if I want to. I might just attack Kyogre. I might just fake it out this turn. Let's be honest here. I might just fake it out in Hydro Steam. That's going to be my play. I'm going to fake it out in Hydro Steam. You might even swap Kyogre. You might even swap the Kyogre. Yep, there it is. There's a swap of the Kyogre. We're just going to look to take out the Tornadus here. Tornadus probably going for Tailwind. Might be going for Bleak Wind Storm. Not too sure. Oh, you better not be Flame Body. You better not be Flame Body. If I take a burn from this, I'm going to be so upset. I get a crit, though. That's awesome. That's cool. So he ends up Tailwind and... We're going to be able to get off a nice big time Hydro Steam into this uh, Tornado slot. And how much damage are we doing here? Enough. Enough damage. That's a big time KO. So we get rid of one of your weather control Pokemon. That's huge on Aran. That is huge. That is huge. So good thing I didn't swap to Coridon. He thought I was swapping into Coridon. Not happening. We're, we're just going to fake out and read out that turn. It'll work perfectly. All right. So they have Volcarona on the field. We know they have Kyogre. We're kind of hoping they bring back out Kyogre, which they do. And now's the perfect time to bring out our Coridon, right? Now's the perfect time to just bring out Coridon and reset our Bulboom. Give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. So that's exactly what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. They could be throwing Ice Beam into this Bulboom slot, which could be a little tough. But I think we should be fine as long as this Pokemon uh, survives this turn. So now we bring out the Sun. They don't have Tornadus. Kyogre's on the field. We're going to have Sun for at least this turn. Protosynthesis is going to activate, and my speed is going to get boosted. So most likely, we're getting rid of uh, Volcarona here. Actually, you're still out of speed. Are you choice? You might be choice. You could definitely be choice. You could definitely be choice, but you're dead. 
but you're dead. So no more weather for them. They cannot get weather control, which is massive. I got Pyro in the back end, ready to throw some, uh, ready to throw some solar beams. Ice beam is actually going to almost kill us. We end up surviving that, which is good news for us. And they got Tailwind for a couple turns. So, I mean, as long as we waste out Tailwind, we should be fine here, right? As long as we waste out Tailwind, we'll have some speed. Lando comes out here, no big deal. Um, it's not all gonna be in our best interest. Actually, oh, I'm choice. I forgot I got choice specs. I forgot I got choice specs. So we're just gonna throw this in that slot, and I got protect. How many turns are in Tailwind? Two turns left in Tailwind. Pyro does have protect, doesn't it? Pretty sure Pyro has protect. Yeah, it's good. That's good. So, yeah, from here, we're just going to protect you. Try to waste out these Tailwind turns and then look to just get after this uh, Kyogre, right? So, we'll see their final Terror type. It is probably going to be Poison onto the Tornadus. Or not Tornadus, Landers. And, yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, it's actually Ground. Ground is looking a bit scary. Ground is looking a bit scary, but I can Solar Beam that. I can do some big time damage with Solar Beam, which is good news for us. Great news for us. Sans here, Storm's going to fly here. My Walk and Wake should eat this. We're hoping Walk and Wake can eat up both Kai Ogre and Lando shots. And actually, I don't think that's happening. And we actually outspeed, so that's perfect. So we're gonna say bye bye to Lando. He's gonna finish off our. Uh, he's gonna finish off our Walk and Wake, and then we're just gonna win this match with Pyro in the end. I honestly think Pyro would have won the two v one. To be honest. I honestly think Pyro would have won the 2v1. With the grassy terrain out there, the sun, we were going to Terra into grass and then just rip a solar beam and win this game. So they still have Tailwind. Um, honestly, I just don't think we protect Pyro. I think we just attack. I think we just Terra and then we attack. Because we need this terrain turn to get that big time damage. I think they go after Coridon regardless. I mean, I could just protect and play it safe if I wanted to. But then they can protect and waste out grassy terrain. You know, yeah, we're just straight up attacking. We are just straight up attacking. We're going to do that. We're going to go for a collision course. I think we should be fine. I think Pyro has a shot at uh, one tapping here. So that could be good. So Pyro out here looking to grab ourselves a win. I've been loving using the off meta Pokemon. They've been working so well for us on the channel. Everything's been great. But we're going to put the little grass, the little flowers on his head. Make a nice little grass type. He's going to go for an ice beam to KO Coridon. No big deal. I figured you were doing that regardless, which is why I want to attack instead of protect here. And Solar Beam is now going to fly in the sun. Awesome. So it's going to go in one turn. We got the Terra boost. We got the super effective boost. We got the terrain boost. I think this one shots him, right? And a Life Orb boost. Let's not forget about Life Orb. Yep, that's game. Pyroar getting after it. Late in match number one, picking us up a win. Match number two on its way, and we grabbed ourselves a big time win with Pyroar in match number one. But something that's good about match number two is they have no weather control, or at least Tornadus is their only way of weather control. So I can see them leading uh, Tornadus, trying to control weather. We might just want to bring Coridon and Pyroar in the back end. Like we did last game, it works so well. But someone I want to lead here is going to be Wimscott. I feel like we're going to need some speed here. We're definitely going to need to get after it. We might want to bring Urshfu as well, because Shadow Rider Calyrex is a big time threat to us. So having Urshfu with Wicked Blow could really be in our best interest, right? Choice Scarf as well. This thing cooks. Its speed is cooking. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Pyro Roar Coridon in the back end. It just seems nice. It seems low. We're going to do that. We are doing that. But yeah, Shadow Rider Calyrex, big time threat, This, which is why I love to have uh, Urshfu out here, especially Dark Urshfu. It's just such a good Pokemon to counter that guy. Same thing with Incineroar, but we don't have Incineroar on today's team. Incineroar just counters. It just counters. The typing is so perfect for Shadow Rider Calyrex. It really is. But they end up going into Water Urshfu alongside with Tornado. So they could pop Tailwind. They could pop Rain Dance. I feel like they have a few different options here, right? I think we just go Tailwind and we outspeed and we just go for a close combat. We could go for a Terra Poison Jab. Close combat would be pretty good. I could go for Wicked Blow because if I take out you... We get weather control for the rest of the match, which is really good news. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to go after Tornadus here. Because there is a chance that he detects with Moonblast flying out here. And no, he's not going to protect. We're just going to drop a Tailwind. I wonder if they're going for Rain Dance or Tailwind. They're going to go for Rain Dance. So we're going to Wicked Blow. Hopefully we can pick up a KO onto Tornadus. This should be some big time damage. It could be Sashed. 
And no, it only actually does half. And Surgeon Strikes is actually just going to KO us, so... That's fine. No big deal. I could bring back out Karidon if I would like to. Um, I could bring out Pyroar if I want to. Hmm. What is my point here? Maybe just protect Pyroar? What do I want to do here? We could force him to go into another Rain Dance if we want to. And honestly, I'm just going to go into... Hmm. I was going to say, I could just protect Karidon. But I think I still go into Karidon here. I think I still go into Karidon here. I'm gonna go cry on. I might just pop the sunny day. Actually, I mean, sun's already out. I could pop sunny day, making a read that he's going for like rain dance. But I mean, if you go for rain dance, we're gonna outspeed. So I'm just gonna go moon blast and honestly just double down into this uh this slot right here. This earth free slot. Try to get rid of this thing. Yeah. So if you pop rain dance, you're probably dead regardless because we got speed from tailwind. And he's gonna withdraw earth All right. Not a bad play. And now do they pop a tailwind? Now do they pop a tail when Psychic Surge comes out here? That's a big time play for them. And he's gonna now pop a tail one. Alright, rather smart. Rather smart play here. I have to get rid of this Tornadus though. I have to get rid of this Tornadus. He's gotta go. Tornadus has got to go. And that actually did a ridiculous amount of damage. A bit more than I thought it would. We get rid of Indeedy this turn. That's massive. Bye bye Indeedy. Get it on out my face. So when DD is gone, we could make the read that they're going for Rain Dance this turn. I feel like they have to. So I kind of want to set up this Sunny Day, but at the same time, I think this Tornadus might be slower than Wind Scott, which means I would go for Sunny Day. It would do nothing. Then they would be able to go for Rain Dance. So kind of hoping they don't go back into Urshfu here, right? We're kind of hoping they go into their final Pokemon. And it's going to be Calyrex. All right, so Calyrex on the field. Lots of Tailwind going on here. They got options. Um, Huh. I mean, Pyro is not a bad swap here. If they're going for, what is that move called? Asher Barrage. Pyro is a normal type. Which is great for us. I'm going to go Moonblast in this slot. And I'm going to swap into Pyro. And just say you're going for a uh, an Asher Barrage. Normal type on the Pyro could actually clutch up for us. So I'm going to swap the Karidon here. Swapping the Karidon. And I feel like you have to go for Rain Dance here. You have to go for Rain Dance here. End up withdrawing. Okay, that's fine. That's not a bad swap for us because you're going into Urshfu in this slot. And I got a Moonblast launching in that slot. And he just protects Caldox. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Moonblast is going to be able to fly, pick up some nice damage. Oh, that's better than nice damage. That's full damage. Wimbus got picking up a KO on Urshfu. They're forced to go back into Tornadus. Now, we should have one turn left in Tailwind, or this might be our. Or Tailwind might end right here. But I think from here, going into... How many turns left in Tailwind? I think we just have to get rid of... We have Focus Ash. I think we just have to go after you, right? I would love to go for a Hyper Beam. But I might just protect you. And just read out what they're doing. Actually, I mean, Pyroar wouldn't be bad to attack this turn. Because what could you be going for? Expanding Force? Yeah, that's looking scary. That's looking real scary. The yeah, expanding force is not looking good for us. Not looking good. I'm still just gonna attack here. I'm still just gonna attack. Expanding force looking terrifying. Please tell me this is not psychic. Psychic terror. Is it fairy terror? It's ghost terror. Okay. I don't mind ghost terror. Is that for Astro Barrage damage? Rain Dance comes through, so Flamethrower is not doing as much. Okay. Not bad. He's gonna go for a Psychic into Wimscott. Into Wimscott. We got Sash. We got Sash. We need this Moonblast to KO here. We pretty much need this Moonblast KO. And Wimscott's been getting the job done all day. He does some big time damage. Wimscott picks up KO. Tailwind's gonna end here. Um, I think from here, we just set up Tailwind and protect Pyroar. And then we're able to get out Karidon. And I love our typings here. I love our typing of having normal right now. It's just so massive. So I'm going to go Tailwind. I'm just going to protect and wait out till we get out the sun. And we should be fine here, right? You can't double hit unless Expanding Force, right? Unless Expanding Force. But it seems like you don't have Expanding Force considering you just went for Psychic. Unless you thought I had Wide Guard. 
No, you don't have expanded force. You're rocking psychic. And we blocked that shot, which is massive. So I blocked that shot. We got off Tailwind now. Their Tailwind's gone. My Pyroar should be faster. I can swap Women's Cop for Coridon. Have the Sun. Keep my normal type in and go into a big time flamethrower into the slot. So Pyroar getting after it again. I love using off meta Pokemon and winning with them. It just feels so good, especially up against meta teams like this. Like both teams that we've been versus today. So we set the sun back out here. Their tailwind's gone. Pyroar should go next. Flamethrower for the win. Life Orb stab in the sun. And a crit just to rub it in. We love it. 2-0. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Third and final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Sama Senta team. I would love to grab ourselves a perfect record, especially with Pyroar, but their only way of weather control is going to be Pelipper. So honestly, I think going into Walking Wake is such a solid lead, considering Walking Wake thrives in the sun, and it thrives in the rain. Either way, it's doing good. Um, in the back end, we could go Coridon. I need to lead another Pokemon, and I might just go in with my choice, guys. Choice Scarf, Urshifu, Choice Spec, Walking Wake. I like that, and then Pyroar and uh, Coridon. They've been working so well as back end Pokemon. They, we just bring them out together. We got the Sun, we got Pyroar doing big time damage, and we've been picking up wins. So we're 2 0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record here, looking to go 3 0. But I wonder who they're going to lead. They're definitely bringing in Pelipper, right? We know they're bringing in Pelipper, but I think they're going to lead a Pokemon maybe like Samacenta. Which I think Walking Wake can kind of handle, right? But no, they're going to lead Pelipper, which is fine by me. I don't mind Pelipper. I don't mind Buttermane either. I got that Choice Scarf, Choice Spec. We're looking to do some massive amount of damage. So this thing's going to boost our energy up. I am scared of that. That speed is a little crazy, right? Boost our energy speed. And I might just want to Thrasilize my Urshifu with the Poison. Is that my play? Do I tear him in the Poison and maybe just drop a Draco Meteor into Pelipper? Because again, if I get rid of Pelipper, I think we're thriving here. Pelipper might go for a Tailwind, which is kind of scary. But, you know, we're going to go after Pelipper here. We're going to go after Pelipper. We are going to Thrasilize. And do we go for Wicked Blow? Or do we just go Poison Jab? I think we just go Poison Jab. Because there is a chance that this thing does Thrasilize in the Fairy. So I'm just going to do that. And he ends up just withdrawing it. So we waste our Terra. Not a bad play for them. Not a bad play for them. So Moltres comes out here. Actually, a perfect Pokemon for my Poison Terror type. Well, for them. And I'm really hoping that this Pelipper's not Sash, because I'd love to just take it out. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, if Pelipper's not Sash, we take it out here, no problem. Really hope it's not. Poison Jab should still do a little bit of damage. Maybe get a Poison. We would love a Poison here. And actually, it got a crit and did a ridiculous amount of damage. It did a bit too much. And Drake and Meteor flying out here. For the KO? Or are you Sashed? For the KO, another crit. Yo! I'm sorry. I apologize to my opponent here. I apologize to my opponent. I apologize to my opponent here. Double crit. I feel bad. I feel bad. Hopefully you get some RNG back at me. Kind of even this, this playing field here. But I mean, I think you were dying regardless of that crit. So that first crit, or the first crit did matter, but the second crit with the Draco Meteor didn't really matter. So from here, um, we could hard swap and just take Weather Control, but I mean, Weather Control is really not going to do too much right now. So I think we just keep attacking. I think we just keep attacking. So from here, I'm going to throw a Draco Meteor, look to KO you. And if I can get off this Poison Jab, I'm just going to throw it over in this slot. And I feel like they're going to cancel. They don't cancel, but I thought they were going to cancel. So I'm out speeding. I'm doing some big time damage. Pop, 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 pop. Oh my God, bringing down to red. And we get the poison. RNG is on our side this match. It is just killing it on our side. He's going to end up Thunder Waving me. I already got off my attack. We pretty much just wrap up this match, right? We pretty much just wrap up this match. Drake Meteor is going to finish you off all day long. Watch, we're going to get another crit. No, we didn't even need another crit anyway. This thing was low enough. So now minus four on special attack. It might be time to swap Walking Wake, but we're just sitting in such a good position. This poison's going to actually take you out. I thought you were going to live on about like one, two, or three. And this match is just going to be a sweep. So this Pyro team, absolutely killing it. This team is phenomenal. I love it. I love it. So we're going to grab ourselves a perfect record. No problem with this thing. No problem. Who's your final Pokemon? Who you got cooking here? It's gonna be Samazenta. All right, yo, we're coming for you. Luckily, I got a special attacker with Pyroar in the back end. And honestly, this turn, I'm just gonna swap into Pyroar. You could be going for Body Press. Body Press is looking a little scary, isn't it? Hmm, do we think you're Body Press and Walking Wake, though? No shot. No shot, you're Body Press and Walking Wake. I'm just going to double swap here. 
I think they cancel regardless. Yeah, they cancel regardless. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG to our opponent. We go 3 0 for today's video. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I gotcha. Gene's pulling out a 3 0 perfect record with Pyroar, bringing that fire content. No pun intended. But Pyroar was absolutely amazing today. We love this Pokemon so much. Pairing it up with Crydon, getting weather control in most battles, and just picking up big time victories and big time damage. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.